All right, Tom, thanks so much. It's campaign season, and dozens of local candidates want you to get out and vote. Early voting starts next, well, this month, because it is April 1st. Yeah. Joining us this morning to show us how to make an informed decision is Ike Griffith and Yvonne Nelson. And, and you guys have put together a three-day Meet the Candidate forum, and it's not just for, say, the mayor's race. It's for every, every race, right? Right. right? Absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having us on. It's a three-day forum. Uh -huh. The first day, which will be April the 5th, will be the sheriff's candidates. Okay. The second day, which will be April 6th, will be the board of commissioners race. Mm -hmm. And on April 7th, it will be the mayoral race. And Valerie really wanted to make sure that we gave the citizens and the constituents within the city and county of Memphis an opportunity to meet these individuals one-on-one. -on -one. And so we were just talking a moment ago. I'm so impressed that you have... At last check, 60 of the 77 right. candidates that are running for office. That's, That's true. pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so if you go to this event, say, whatever night of whatever race you're interested in, or all three nights, mm -hmm. you should be able to meet the candidates. Will they speak, or will you be able to ask them questions, or how does that work? Well, we're going to ask them questions. Uh, we're not going to have the person come up to the right. microphone because some people get long-winded. Mm -hmm. So we really want to make it structured in such a way that, you know, we give the candidates and the citizens an opportunity to hear the views and opinions yeah. that their platform is based on. And the way we're going to figure out what those views and opinions are, we're going to ask the candidates to answer questions that the community has submitted. And we set up an email address and uh -huh. a phone number to get that information from the candidates. Let's, uh, do we have that wing pop up on the screen, folks? If you would say the, the email address and the phone sure. number. Sure, absolutely. The email address is electionquestions at live.com. Okay. That's electionquestions at live.com. And Valerie, the phone number is area code 901-396. Six three zero zero. Okay, some great information because folks, I know you probably do have questions, and and you know normally we think about the two main races, right. the sure. sheriff's race and the mayor's race, but there are other races as well. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. And we're going to have other candidates like the juvenile court clerk. Mm -hmm. Those individuals will be there, but they are not going to be on the platform that particular those particular particular nights. So you will get a chance to meet those individuals. And we also created a booklet. I know. You know, where we have uh, all the candidates, mm -hmm. a little brief bio on those individuals because we felt that it was important that the citizens got a chance mm -hmm. to have in their hand Absolutely. a brief bio about these individuals. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be held. We forgot to give you the, the yeah. location. Let's, let's tell them where. 905 East Shelby Drive at Fairfield Road. Okay. That's 905 East Shelby Drive at Fairfield Road. Okay, and that's at the Institute for Success. Right. I thank you all for joining us this morning. Thank that's you next so much. week, folks. If you want to find out more about the candidates, uh, the elections are May 4th. Early voting starts, what, April 14th, I think, right? right? So about 14th. two weeks. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will be right back. Thank you. Fox 13 News urges you to vote in the Shelby County primary election Tuesday, May 4th. And vote with your remote for Fox 13 News. And speaking of political activism, the, the democratic process, excuse me, is rooted in your vote. But to make sure that you maximize your vote, it's best to know about the people who are running for office. Right after the break, we'll talk about a couple of upcoming forums that will give you a chance to meet the candidates. Hi, folks. 6941 smile or dentalworks.com. Welcome back, everyone. Shelby County voters are preparing for some pretty major elections. From choosing a new county mayor to what's expected to be a heated battle for the District 9 seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, Shelby County voters really have a lot on their plates in the coming months. That's why my next guests are hosting several forums to help you learn more about the candidates, their platforms, and the issues. Welcome to both of you. How's everything going? Hi, Tim. Fine, Tim. All right, all the fun starts on Monday. Let's start there. The sheriff's race. A lot of candidates right. on the platform for sure. that one. How are you going to get every Everybody in to speak their piece. Go ahead, Yvonne. You can go we ahead and start. get everybody to participate, mm. but we do have six of the eight candidates who are expected to be at Greater Faith Institute mm -hmm. for Success Center 
on Monday evening at 6 p.m. So six of the eight are going to be on right. hand. But you know, even six, that's considered a pretty substantial group of candidates mm -hmm. to try to push their piece. And everyone's right. going to be trying to out-talk each other. If right. I know, trust me, I'm coming up with these. That's everyone's true. going to be trying to out-talk each other, I suspect. But, but you know, I guess the, the main purpose, Terrence, behind this whole ordeal is to give the people an opportunity to hear the platforms of these individuals. Mm -hmm. There's so much apathy in our community, especially when it comes to the political process. And this is one area that we're trying to put together to combat so much apathy when it comes to politics in Memphis. Absolutely. Go ahead. And, and they won't be talking over one another because we're going to have it organized so that we'll be asking them questions. Right. Okay. And mm -hmm. then they'll have a timed response session okay. to All respond. Right. Mm -hmm. And will the audience also then have an opportunity to ask questions and that kind of thing? Absolutely. Actually, we're asking the audience, the community as a whole, this is a citywide event. It's not just for Whitehaven residents. It's a citywide mm -hmm. event. These are, this is the county of Shelby County. So we want all of the citizens to send us questions. And we have an email address set up for that. Mm -hmm. It's electionquestions at live.com. You know, this has already been a pretty busy year in Shelby right. County in terms right. of, of the political process. Do you think that people are a bit more interested now in politics and what's happening in our city and county than maybe in years to four? Well, you know, I, I think one of the major reasons that we are putting this on, as I mentioned earlier, we really want to get our young people involved okay. also. But I think what we need to try to do is make sure that people know that they have the power. You know what I mean? Once a person is in, they're in for a term. So that's why it's so very important they come out and hear the platform and say whether or not that individual need to represent them. So that's very, very important. And to also get the children acclimated to the political process. I mm -hmm. think so many times we leave those individuals out. And I think it's uh, very important on us as adults to start them in the trend of understanding the very important reason behind politics. You know, that's such an important point, making sure you have an informed voter. Right. You find that a lot of times people vote because that's who my mama voted yeah. for? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And that's why we put together this booklet, Terrence, because all of the candidates who elected Can to participate... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All of the candidates who elected to participate have information about them and their pictures in there. So mm -hmm. you can put a name with a face right. and you can put a, pl a platform with the person. Right. You know, this is actually a really good I good idea just right. to give Thank people you. information right. so they can sit down and kind of read for themselves Absolutely. and then even when they arrive have, have, have a basis to ask some questions mm -hmm. from. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So exactly what's the form going to be in terms of how this, uh, how this debate, if you will, is going to be handled? Well, once we get the questions in, and we have been getting some in, okay. we're going to be facilitating those questions to the candidates. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned earlier, Monday will be the sheriff's race. Okay. And on Tuesday of next week will be the board of commissioners race. And Wednesday, the final night, will be the mayoral race. And each night it will start at 6 o'clock and hopefully get out, the, get out by 8 o'clock because that's going to be so very important. And we will have a straw poll after each of the particular uh, forums, uh, the sheriff race, the board of commissioners race, and the mayoral race, to kind of give the candidates and the community a sense of which direction we're going to be going in and electing one of these officials. You know, the straw poll is going to be interesting, I would think, even for the candidates, because it gives them an idea of, right. okay, I need to put in some more work, mm -hmm. or I'm doing okay, I need to focus on these specific mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. And also, too, not only will we have the candidates for the sheriff's race, the uh, board of commissioners, and mayoral candidates, but we will have participants who are candidates for juvenile court clerk, probate clerk, they will be there also. So they won't get a chance to speak, what, what have you, and ask them questions. But they will be there to pass out their literature. Uh, uh, citizens can go up and ask them questions and what have you after the event. And, Come, go ahead. Go and, ahead and we'll also uh, address them during, we will actually ask them to stand up and yeah. say who they are the and, and mm -hmm. what, what position that they are seeking election for. Of the candidates for the Shelby County mayor job, how many have confirmed that they'll be there? That's another pretty hot Yeah, race. that's a hot one. <laughs> All of them. All of them all will of them. be there. Mm -hmm. That's what well, I was saying. you guys told. don't have enough microphones for all those folks. <laughs> we'll find something. We'll definitely find something. I don't see this on here, but let me ask. Okay. Of course, the other big race that a lot of people in uh, Shelby County are talking about is the District 9 race. It's mm -hmm. mostly for the city of Memphis, but everyone is talking about it because it's expected to be a pretty hotly contested one. Is there going to be a forum for that one? Well, you know, we are contemplating on trying to do something for that particular race also. Okay. We just want to cross one hurdle at a time yeah. to see how this kind of pans out. But I think that's going to be very important if we can uh, come up with a forum for that particular race because it's very important that we inform the general public. 
state. Now, although we are having this in the White Haven area, mm -hmm. it's countywide. And I think if we can get people to understand that fact, not just because uh, we are in Whitehaven that you are excluded, but it's very important that they participate also. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate having both thank of you, you here. Oh, thank you so much. Not a problem. Folks, if you want to go out to the Candidates Forum, it's going to be held from 6 until 8 o'clock next Monday through Wednesday. Each night there's going to be a different focus. It's going to be held at the Institute for Success Center. That's located at 905 East Shelby Drive at Fairfield Road. Once again, that's 905 East Shelby Drive. That's right there at Shelby Drive at Fairfield. Airfield Road. Now let's get a final check, or not a final check, but another check of your forecast with meteorologist David Still. David, I'm trying to. Your chance to vote for Shelby County Sheriff, Mayor, and Board of Commissioners is coming up soon, and now is the time to start evaluating the candidates. Early voting begins April 14th, and this morning, we want to tell you about an event that begins tomorrow and is aimed at helping you get to know the people running in a number of races. Organizers Ike Griffin and Yvonne Nelson are here this morning to tell you more about it, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for inviting us, and happy Easter to you. <laughs> thank you. So tell us about this forum. The forum is a three-day event that's designed to help educate educate the community about the candidates that are seeking election mm -hmm. in the May 4th ballot. And so you will actually provide these candidates or the candidates will actually come there and provide information about themselves? Absolutely they will. On April 5th we're mm -hmm. going to have the sheriff candidates and they're going to be there from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Institute for Success Center at 905 East Shelby Drive and we're going to be asking them questions that the community has provided us so why did you want to get this started? Well, number one being, thank you so much for having us, we want to try to combat apathy in our community, especially when it comes to the political process. And I think by this event that we're trying to put on, it will at least start the process of getting people involved in the political process here in Memphis and Shelby County. Now you're focusing on several races. Tell us right. about that. We are focusing on the sheriff race, the board of commissioners, and the mayoral race. And we thought those were very important races because those are the governing bodies, per se, uh, with the sheriff, county commissioners, and the mayoral race, to give people an understanding about what these individuals' platforms are based on and how would it benefit those individuals in our community. And you're also trying to get people to contact you earlier with questions for these candidates. That is correct. We have an email address set up for that. The email address is electionquestions at live.com. And it's not too late for the community to submit questions to that email for us to consider asking the candidates Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night. And Ben, if I can also just add, we'll have other candidates running for other offices like juvenile court clerk, probate clerk, trustee. Those individuals will be there also in attendance. And when it comes down to it, this is an opportunity if you want to know something about right. a particular candidate Correct. to ask. Just uh, how deep will the questions get? Very deep. Very deep. Very, <laughs> Very deep. deep. Because we really want people to understand that, number one, they hold the power in electing these officials. Once they are in, they are in for a certain term, but they hold the power in getting those individuals elected. All right, well, we thank you very, very much. And once again, we want to tell everybody about the Candidates Forum. It's scheduled for April 5th, 6th, and 7th. The place, the Institute for Success Center, that's 905, right? That's right. Uh, East Shelby Drive. And for more information, you can go to electionquestion at live.com. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And stay tuned. We'll have more news, weather, and sports in just a